Good morning, and you join me here from Finish Line Body Shop Repairs uh, in Jacks Hill, Hertfordshire, just outside Stevenage. Uh, we are here because my Elise has just come in for some body shop repairs. Chris Bray, who runs the Finish Line show, fantastic guy, fantastic services. Um, known him a long time through motorsport as he's won a lot of MG championships. Uh, always does fantastic work, fantastic service. So I always take all my cars here. The reason that we are here, my car has taken uh, some battering over the uh, 12, past 12 months in which it's been doing track days with. So the car does have PPF film on it. You can just about see it here. So all along the green bodywork here uh, has been been protected. Uh, however, this black body kit, the uh, the splitter. Uh, spoiler side skirts, side skirts etc haven't been uh, protected at all so the paint on that has taken absolute battery so the reason for this is the reason for this another friend of mine Danny who works at Expel UK which is based in Letchworth they're the main distributors and importers for Expel products which basically are the uh, PPF film to have uh, if you're gonna have it on a car at all um, thoroughly thoroughly recommended um, they've uh, decided to uh, wrap my car and so I'm getting the bodywork touched up here at finish line and now we're going to shoot over to Expo and uh, get the car wrapped which I'm really really excited about um, to see what they can do. We're going to remove the old wrap and then put some new wrap on as well uh, to make it look uh, even more subtle which again is a huge selling point for the Expo wrap so let's go. So we are now back uh, from Finish line, it's a couple of weeks later now, and we are now at Expel UK. The car literally went from finish line's workshop to my garage and has not moved since, so don't want to damage the paintwork in any way whatsoever. So just met up with my friend Danny, who is the trainer for Expel UK. Uh, so any French OZs that want to start selling the product, they go through him, um, and he's going to talk us through what we're going to do with the car today. Um, so first of all, it's just in the wash bay for starters, so we're going to get it all cleaned up. Uh, so the surfaces are nice and um, uh, there's no contaminant on there which would, could affect the wrap in any way. We've also got some wrap on the front there as well which we're going to pull off uh, and then put some uh, proper Expel wrap on it as well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the day, uh, looking forward to see how it comes out like. So uh, we'll catch up with Danny in a sec. <coughs> huh? Oh no, no, go. So with this previous wrap you can see that they've mm. just done a straight line here in which all the dirt sits in and then just mm. leaves lines over the panel as well uh, but with the Expel film that will all disappear. And then we're going for the key areas which get damaged to so the splitter that's been painted obviously by a finished line uh, just behind the wheels here it's all been fit, um, repainted as well it looks basically from factory and then these bits here as well which get apps. So the car is roughly halfway done. Um, I've been speaking to Danny and speaking to Bob, the manager of Expel UK. And uh, they're very good, kindly going to put some other bits and bobs on as well. A couple of bespoke bits. So uh, Matt, who is the sort of CAD technician who does the templates off, of, off straight off of the car, and then we'll uh, pop that on a plotting uh, software in which they can then uh, turn it into a 2D image, which can then print out, uh, which will then go straight on the car. Which is yes, yeah, fascinating to watch the whole process for it. 
um, the template, the sketching, um, and then to see the end result that comes out on a 2D plotter. But yeah, anyways, um, car, certainly the panels that have gone on uh, are looking, you can't even see they're there. The make, the, the paint might look absolutely brand new. So um, I'm super, super pleased. Um, so yeah, we'll jump back in there and check out what they're up to next on the uh, side and rear part of the car as well. Let's go. From that. To that. To that. Simple. So here we are with my finished Lotus Elise S Cup by Expel. Uh, I'm here with my friend Danny, who is the designer here at Expel UK, uh, and he's going to talk us through um, the car, the panels that have been wrapped, uh, and the different types of film that we've used for it. Um, so yeah, over to you Danny, take her away. So yeah, we've got uh, obviously David's uh, S Cup Lotus uh, here with us. Um, what we've done with the, the car is, it had factory on it from film, uh, it's done it's done its job done it very well uh, unfortunately the only thing that was a bit annoying was the the line because we already had what we call a bikini cut for the uh, for the bonnet yeah so what we've done when we've had it in we've we've obviously removed all the old film and now applied the ultimate plus our new generation of, uh, of film uh, that was one of the big benefits for that was getting rid of that panel line across the front there yeah. so um, yeah this is now one complete whole piece all the way from the back round the front round the badge even uh, and as a result it's virtually invisible uh, which looks absolutely awesome especially in the sunlight today so yeah as Dave touched on there it's, uh, it's, it's been designed for the car through our uh, design uh, software which again means that we can get some nice close edges and we are able now to do this in one full piece eliminating joins from the from the previous film um, <clears throat> said where we can we've also wrapped the edges um, behind uh, the front the back edge of the bonnet and obviously into the uh, into the shots here so it's very hard to pick up probably on the camera I really um, doubt that they will even display it there <laughs> but literally the wrap is right in that gap there which yeah like I say makes it look invisible which is awesome the, uh, the, the, the plus now with this film as well uh, with the ultimate plus is it's a self healing aspect so previously before any slight marks or any swell marks the, the film did have through just for general wash 
uh, just the application of heat, so a nice hot day like today or some hot water, any of those soil marks you know, will just disappear, keeping it as, as, as gloss, glossy as it is today and, and, and as scratch free. So It looks so good. So leading on from that, we've also then you know, done the belt, really vulnerable areas of the car, so the rocker panels all the way back. And after some discussion with, with David, um, we've also then just done a few design bits to this to this car. Um, so the rear section here, again, obviously, you know, it's going to take a lot of impact from the rear wheels. So we're taking it right around and then hitting it into the back right underneath. Now we're taking all this lower section from any yeah. further damage. I hadn't even noticed that there was actually chips underneath here. So yeah, Danny, Danny and Matt, the designers here, kindly whipped me up a, a brand new piece uh, of which they designed by hand, which then they turn into um, a 2D printed format, which they can then print onto the film. So it was mega to watch. Um, and yeah, and along with that, as what we've just done, spoke about, we've also then designed some sections for the, the rear splitter, uh, moving back around the front of the car. The very high impact area that comes off here. Uh, and again, this front section, David's had re-sprayed, but you can see underneath the film, there is some heavy marks still from from uh, not having filmed it before. So again, we've hand designed these sections and the, the front as well. These have all actually been fitted in the Ultimate, uh, the X-Bell Stealth um, film. So this is exactly the same properties as the, the gloss. It's just got a satin matte finish. These panels being painted matte black. You know, we want to keep the same finish as it looks nice and aggressive and it matches in with the car. So this is now the, the, uh, the Stealth film it's been fitted to, to all the lower sections across the car and it's still going to give it the same protection as the as the gloss so no further damage um, to them is you know Dave's hooning it around the track um, <laughs> so yes yeah, so and all of these parts are available on the software now so if you do have a similar car um, shape release um, you can have the, the standard parts all the way through to the S cut lower sections uh, all the information you can get from that will be on the website um, which you'll yeah. find in the description below but yeah, apart from that, now I said it looks it looks great uh, and it's fully protected and it gives uh, Dave and, and then further customers you know the peace of mind that the car and the paintwork is going to stay nice and safe whilst doing its job going around the track. Um, so yeah, feel free to look at any other videos and, and social media that we've got for more information. But uh, finished product. Looks great. Yeah, mega. Thoroughly recommended for any track cars. I mean, any tractor car owners that it is their pride and joy. Uh, they will know that when cars come off the track, come in and out of the gravel, then drag all that gravel back onto the track. Um, my heart breaks every time I hear a stone chip hit the front there. So, yeah, like I say, I will have peace of mind now. So, yeah, thank you very much, Danny, for um, sorting me out, for very hooking welcome. me up. Thank you very, very much. Very welcome, sir. And um, yeah, I've heard it's worth three tenths around the lap as well. So, <laughs> we'll try that out next week. Thank you for watching. Any more, uh, any more information, uh, we'll put in the description below. Add any comments you have. Uh, we'll make sure Danny's involved in answering those comments as well. So, um, yeah. Check back soon. Ciao, ciao.